Hi folks, Lee here and welcome back to the channel. So, uh, you saw the video I done a couple of weeks ago um, where I got a shot of a drone, like a proper drone, not like some 20 quid Amazon knockoff that doesn't fly properly. Um, and yeah, I had to buy one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got it in the bag. Um, it's a DJI Spark. It's the same one that I got a shot of last week. Um, I've flown it a couple of times, like indoors and in the garden, um, but I've not really done any proper flying with it yet. But just the fact that I can fly it indoors and in the garden without crashing it um, is kind of a statement of like how good this drone actually is and how easy to fly it actually is. Um, but we're out in this place just now. Um, it's in Drecon and it's this big kind of open bit and um, it's probably the quietest place I know in the local area and also the most open place that I know in the local area um, and yeah we're gonna do some some proper flying for the first time we get some proper flight time with my own drone so uh, yeah it should be a lot of fun um, um, I, I wanted to do it yesterday, but uh, it was absolutely pouring down yesterday, whereas today it's still very grey, um, as you can probably see. But um, there's maybe a very slight breeze, um, but there's not a lot of wind going on either, so... Um, I mean, there's enough for those over there, but um, I think we should be okay. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get some proper flying done. Um, I was originally going to bring my camera to kind of do some filming of the drone while it's in the air, but I, obviously I don't have anyone with me to do, so um, it's probably going to be mostly footage from the drone, from the drone's camera, which is very cool. Um, it's really cool to have a drone with that kind of first person view uh, ability. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So, yeah, uh, let's get on with it. For anyone who just wants a quick look at it before we go on our first proper flight, um, give you a little kind of walk around of it um, you've got the battery there uh, as you can see we've got full battery and around here we have the camera um, which gimbals um, it's really cool um, I don't know if gimbals the right word actually um, you can move it around basically um, but yeah um, let's go let's let's get flying So when I got my first shot of these drones, um, I naively thought that there might be some sort of like audio capability in the camera on the drone, um, but there isn't, and it really should be obvious because you know there's four giant spinny things in the way that would be pretty much impossible to noise cancel. <laughs> um, so um, for these parts of the videos, I'm gonna need to just like do some sort of commentary. Um, as I says, this was my very first outdoor flight of the drone. Um, aside from a very, you know, a very short amount of time, you know, indoors and in the garden. Um, apart from that, but this was my first time actually being outside in, you know, an open area. And, you know, this is one of those areas I come down to a lot. Um, you know, I've probably been going there for about maybe about ten years now. Like. You know, I just go down from time to time. It's a really nice, quiet area. Um, really, the most you'll see is, like, the odd dog walker. Um, there is a road there, but honestly, as you can see, it's a road to nowhere, really. And I think in the 10 years that I've been going there and going walks there regularly, is I think I've seen a car come down that road maybe twice. And it's usually, like, a kind of maintenance thing. Um, I have to admit this is like kind of cool because like I pan the camera back and that does <laughs> like that does kind of coincidentally looks like some sort of like giant footprint from some like <laughs> some like kind of 
lizard type thing, <laughs> like a dinosaur footprint or something. But um, as you can see, I'm standing there and I wave up to the camera again. Um, I didn't take the drone too high um, on this very first flight. I think the most I got was maybe about like 15, 20 metres. Um, and really at a full charge, you know, that the specification of the drone, it says that you get about 16 minutes of flight time out of it. And as you can see, like, even at 15, 20 metres, like, you can get some absolutely fantastic views. You know, it's amazing, really, um, that, you know, you can do that. Um, um, but back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the specification of the drone says the DJI Spark, you get about 16 minutes of flight time out of a battery, but... By the time you've got everything set up, it's really probably more about, I would say, about 12, 13 minutes. Because um, you do need a little bit of battery just to get you home, essentially. And I did find out later on in the day <laughs> when I was doing a little bit more flying that the return to home function will kick in about like 10 to 15 percent. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of flying about, and now I'm going to try and return to the launch site, so um, you can see my case over there, and that's where I'm going to try and land. So, I move in, and the camera, as I said before, it doesn't really, it gimbals a little bit, but it's the, the main thing it can do is you can move it up and down so you basically got like a 90 degree angle of pitch so you can be pitched so that you're facing entirely forward and then there's a 90 degree range of motion between that and directly downwards so um, I like to do that to kind of maneuver my way onto whatever I'm trying to land on um, and as you'll see in a minute, um, the rotor wash is quite heavy, um, and you'll see my you'll see my case getting blown around a little bit. I will probably get a more dedicated case at some point, um, and I'm still figuring out the controls a little bit. As you can see, I moved up a little bit there accidentally, um, but we finally touched down round about here, and you'll see where I landed in a wee second. So as you can see, we just missed the, well, there's barely even a case, but um, yeah, we just missed the case, um, which is what I've been using as my landing spot. Um, it, as you can see, like during the video, it did blow around a little bit with the, the rotor wash, so um, I probably blame that more than the drone itself. Um, but yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more flying and then I'll probably wrap this video up. So for the second flight I tried taking things a little bit higher. Um, so I started I started off in the grass this time um, and as you can see the place is absolutely waterlogged. It's really not pleasant. It wasn't pleasant to walk on at all. Um, you know getting there in itself was quite kind of unpleasant um as you've probably seen in the first part of the video but um and as you've probably seen from the the godzilla footprint from from earlier on uh, there is a lot of puddles around it's just you know that one happened to look pretty cool <laughs> um so as i says i go a little bit higher in this one and the maximum i think i went was about 100 feet and even at that, I mean, look at the views. It's absolutely incredible. It's amazing. Uh, magnificent. I can't say that word today. <laughs> magnificent views. Um, but yeah, um, it was really cool. It's a really cool thing to fly around. The only thing I will say is, once you do get a little bit higher up, um, and I actually flew it a little bit after the video. I didn't record that, and I flew it even higher. Um I will say, like, once you move it higher up, it does really become apparent, like, it is quite difficult to fly something that's only got one forward-facing camera, you know, higher up. Um, not that I think it's dangerous or anything, but 
for some reason there's just always that thing in the back of my mind that like I really want to be able to see what's going on in the sides and that as well you know um so it is going to take a little bit more practice and to be honest I think you know the I'm probably going to get the most joy out of this in the beginning at least from just flying at low and slow and kind of taking my time and just building up my experience um I'm really enjoying the whole kind of photography aspect of it so far um as you can see with my videos obviously but I've been taking photos with it as well um and even flying it in the house and sort of like taking selfies and stuff like that is quite cool um it's a really cool it's a really cool piece of kit um there's a bit here you know I wasn't too fond of the idea of landing it in the grass because as I says like it you know was really like waterlogged um and muddy so there is a bit here like I actually tried to hover it really close to myself and then grab it at the bottom but it wouldn't even let me do that because it's got so many like collision avoidance sensors on it that it'll just automatically avoid your hand. Um but I mean even better, you know, I mean I'm I'm glad it's like that because it means that, you know, it's very unlikely to really crash as long as you're flying it carefully. Um as I says I've flown it in the house and it's great. Um but yeah, so the idea of grabbing it out of there kind of failed. So I go in for the landing here and the case doesn't blow around this time, but I do still miss it a little bit. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Just going to take practice. <laughs> so with that one there, we, we almost stuck the landing. Um, it kind of just hit like the edge of the case um, now I'm not going to leave this thing any longer than it needs to be because as you can see the place is absolutely um, soaked um, so um, yeah uh, we're going to get this thing back in the case and but yeah that was a lot of fun that was really cool to um, get to try out the drone properly for the first time so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it leave a like if you hated it leave a dislike Leave any thoughts in the comments section below and if you'd like to see more content like this then please do subscribe. Bye folks!